All right, after four months, guys, four months I've been waiting since the motor blew, I'm finally on my way back to uh, Total Engine Concepts to go pick it up. Um, after numerous, you know, like delays and waiting on parts and the builder getting sick and stuff like that, I'm finally able to go pick it up. And that's where I'm on my way to right now. Uh, I'm almost there, I'm in Boynton Beach. It's probably another 15, 20 minutes. Um, I'm gonna go pick up the motor and then drop it off at home. I gotta go to work. Um, after work today, I believe I'm going to probably paint the engine bay. So um, I don't know if that's gonna be in this video or a separate video, but regardless, um, we got a lot of stuff to do starting today and uh, I'm very excited. So let's get on with it. All right, we've arrived at Total Engine Concepts. Gotta go meet up with Mike and pick up the engine. All right guys, so I'm here at TEC. I picked up the motor and some very unfortunate news. Um, my motor builder, Bruce, is still in the ICU and he's currently on the ventilator. They said they don't know if he's gonna make it. So my prayers to you, Bruce. Um, it, it's very sad to hear, you know, like he's built my motor not once, but twice now. And the guys in there just told me that this may be the last motor that Bruce ever builds. And I'm, I'm really hoping that that's not the case, but um, my prayers do go out to Bruce and his family from um, Total Engine Concepts. Um, everyone in the shop actually had um, a serious case of COVID. Uh, Mike and his son, Mike, are um, actually better now. They're the only two running the shop right now. Um, but yeah, go ahead and leave a, um, a nice little note for Bruce and his family in the comment section down below, guys. Make sure to like, and I'll make sure that every uh, every comment that you guys get go to um, his family. Um, as you can see in the back, I got the head and the block, and then I have more parts in the trunk. Um, I'm gonna head home now. Or actually, I have to go to Harbor Freight and pick up a motor stand, but um, yeah, let's get to it. All right, guys, so we finally got the block back. Let's see, we got it on the motor stand. We're gonna start with putting the ladder bar on over there. Uh, the oil pump this is the old block in case anyone's interested. Freshly decked, honed, it's bored out to 86.5 mil. It does have a hairline crack. I don't know if you can see it on cylinder number three, right there. This is, uh, the sleeve can be replaced or um, it's a good candidate for dart and sleeves. So if anyone wants that, let me know. And time to get started on this. All right guys, so I just cleaned off all the mating surfaces for the ladder bar or crankcase, whatever you want to call this. Um, so all the gasket maker has been cleaned off. It's been sprayed out. This is ready to go back onto the car. I just got to go ahead and find the hardware real quick and we'll go ahead and throw it in. All right guys, so in here, oops, I'm sorry, I got an OEM oil pump. If I can get that for a second. OEM oil pump, oil pump chain. Uh, I have my 10 ladder bar bolts. And then from the oil pump, I have my four bolts that are gonna go in. So I got a plastic bag over the, the block right now because I don't want anything getting in it. But um, we're gonna go ahead and put that on here. I'm gonna make some, uh, put some gasket maker around it, slap it on top. Probably put the rear main seal in over there first uh, and then slap it on and then, yeah. So first thing I did is I went ahead and put the rear main seal on. It's a lot easier to do it before you put the, uh, the crankcase on. So all you gotta do is slide it over the top and then work its way around in the back. And then when you take this off the motor stand, obviously you wanna make, give it like a couple taps and make sure it's good. Okay, so what I did before I put the Permatex on is I put the ladder bar over and I put Sharpie where I don't have to put the Permatex. So as you can see, all these corners right here, everywhere else is gonna need it on that side, but I don't need it on this side. So if I take this off, you'll see everywhere inside is gonna need uh, 
the Permatex. I don't necessarily think I'm gonna need it right here, but uh, I think that's about it. Dad, you want to hold this so I can put the crankcase on? Alright. Be re real careful with this rear main seal. Alright. Now we got our 10 bolts. that goes there you have your oil pump four here and then one here and there's supposed to be one here which I might have to go buy uh, now we got 12 point 12 millimeter So I need to go get this and then we can do the oil pump around here. Um, but for now, I'm gonna go ahead and torque these down to 18 foot pounds all the way around. All right, I don't know if you guys can see me or not. No, obviously you can, I don't know if you can hear me. Um, so I went to Broward Bolt. They didn't have the um, ladder frame bolt um, at Broward Bolt. It's an M9 by 125 and the length is I believe 105 millimeters. Um, but I just called Coconut Creek Honda and they said that they have 11 in stock. So I'm gonna go over there real quick, pick that up, and I'll see you guys then. All right, bolt secured. It's $3.23 at Hyundai. Luckily they had some in stock, so I was able to get it. So these ones go right there. I actually lied to you. It goes right there and right there. That's my fault. All right guys, so as you can see, I got the new oil pump now. Um, I put the sprocket on. There's a little keyway that sits inside the, um, the side of the uh, crankshaft that basically seats the gear i don't know if you guys can see it right there but you want to have your timing mark in the front um i don't really think that this oil pump needs to be timed um but i'm gonna do it anyways I'm just gonna line these uh orange gears up with it the way you want to do it is you want to start out bolts out You want to loosely start over, get it on the second gear in the back. And you gotta kind of angle it and wiggle it. And then it'll sit right where it wants to. And you're gonna put your four bolts in, you know, a corner by corner. And you gotta torque these down in a sequence six foot pounds of torque, 12 foot pounds of torque, and then 18. And you're gonna go one, two, three, four, sorry. These again are another 12 mil, uh, 12 point. 
then I'm gonna go and switch this to six foot pounds. I'm gonna need to remove that extension, I think. And I can just add a foot pound for it. I'm not gonna be able to torque it without it. So I put this at seven. I'm gonna go set the next pattern. I'm going to skip it to 13 just to add for the extension. And then finally 18. Say it to 19. And then always double check your torque. that's where we're going to conclude it for this video and I'll do part two when we start assembling the other half of the motor. All right, I forgot the oil pump tensioner. So you got the two bolts here and the one that goes right here. This is going to be the one bolt that's longer just because it has to compensate for the spring. Uh, and then I also put the oil jet on the front of the motor. All right, guys, that's going to be it for today's video. Hope you like. Comment down below, subscribe down below, follow me on Instagram. Enjoy the rest of the day.